Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I continue with the winter tutorials with this Snow Queen Frosty Flowers bracelet. I'm showing it step by step and it's not difficult to make so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing and hitting the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Now the holidays are coming, so it is a nice time to make beautiful presents. You could also check description for a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Share them mainly on my Facebook or Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and don't forget that now there is a new feature to become a member of this channel and get some nice perks here. Okay, so that was all from me. If these intros are long for you and you are a subscriber for a long time, feel free to skip them. And now I will start with the list of the materials here. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads or you could use 10 0 seed beads if you want. Here I'm using a clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches, 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. And now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay, and now I'm going to start my work by picking up 6 of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, and I have my six silver beads on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. I make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Now what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction. Okay, now I have this and for my next row I will take two blue beads and as I'm exiting from this silver bead here, you see I'm exiting through one of the silvers, I will take these two blue beads and I will go back in circle through the same silver that I'm exiting out of. So when I pull, you see guys, I have this, I have a loop between these silver beads and these two blue beads that I'm adding. Then I'm going in the next silver here. And I'm going to take two blue beads and I go back in circle through this silver. By the way, if you want to save time, go also through the next silver. In this way, you will save one movement. Of course, it is if it's easier for you, go through the beads one by one, but now I'm showing it this way because it's easier. Okay, then again, I'm taking two blue beads, exiting out of this silver, going back through it and through the following. Okay, and I'm going to continue repeating this until the end of this row. Okay, guys, now I have this and in my next step, as I'm exiting through this silver, I'm going in the next blue bead. Okay. Now I'm going to take a white bead. And as I'm exiting through one of the blue beads, I'm taking the white and I'm going through the other blue and through the following blue. Okay, then again, 
white go through two blue beads white go through two blue beads okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay guys now i have this and i will go through the one of those newly added white beads and then in my next row i'm going to pick up seven white beads okay i have my seven here and as i'm exiting through one of the whites i'm going through the other one okay i have this then again seven okay and i'm going in the next white okay and i'll show you one more time and let you do this until the end by yourself okay continue and meet me here the same way okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last seven beads from this row if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind to the first part see the first three steps and repeat them here okay now what i do is that i go through three white beads in this direction after the one at the angle okay then i'm skipping the angle beat and i'm going through two beats you see what i do so when i pull and i push this beat in this direction i have this this beat is sticking out and forming an angle then i'm going to take a blue beat here and as I'm one beat away from the angle, I'm going in the same place, one beat away from the angle. Okay. And through the next two, then I skip the top beat, the central beat of the seven that I added in my previous row and I go through the next two and when I pull I have this beautiful angle now I'm one beat away from this angle here take one blue beat go in the same place one beat away from the angle and through these two beats okay skip the angle and go through the next two and pull this one like this then again take one blue go one bit away from the angle and through the following two and skip the angle and continue until the end and when i'm ready when i'm up to the last step i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i just added my last blue bead from this row and what i want to do next is go through this top white bead and i'm going to pick up three silver beads like this go back like this through this white and in this way i'm forming three at the, the angle here then i go through these two white beads and through the blue one and i'm going to take a blue a silver and a blue okay this is what i have 
and I go back through this blue one and then through all of those beads and if you can in one movement you could reach the top here okay then again take three silvers and as you're exiting here out of the top the angle bead go back here through it forming a loop between these two beads and the newly added three beads and then go through the two whites and the blue one and take blue silver and blue and now go back like this and if you can exit out of the angle to save time okay and repeat this four more times until the end if you forgot how i'm doing it just uh, rewind the video see these two steps and repeat them and meet me okay guys and i have my last three beads from this row and i'm going like this in circle like i did before and then what i want to do is go here at the angle let me unstuck my thread okay and then through one of the silver beads and here where the silvers are i'm going to add five white beads okay five here i will be adding five beads at this row okay then i go through the other silver and back through this white here Okay, and I have this then I will go here through the next white bead then I will go through the blue bead here and I'm going to take five blue beads okay I have five here and I'm skipping the silver and I'm going through the blue one and then I go like this okay then I will go I'm exiting through this white bead here and I will go through the silver and i'm taking five white beads okay i have my five here and i go i skip the silver that's at the top and i go through the following silver and back through the white okay now i have this next white blue five blue beads go here and if you can in one movement exit at the white angle bead just beneath the silvers and then through one of the silvers five and backwards like this okay and i'm going to continue this until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i attach my last five beads from this row and now guys i'm going to repeat all of those steps one more time and make another element because this is only the first element of my bracelet and i want to have six of those elements but in order to show you how uh, to start the bracelet and how to connect them we will need another element like this make it the same way don't cut your thread still okay guys and here it is the other element that i did it is absolutely the same just i inverted the colors i put 
blue where it is white and white where it is blue and the silver stays the same. If you don't want to invert the colors, it's okay to make your bracelet with one color combination. This one that I'm showing in the tutorial. Uh, maybe it will be nice to flip them. It's not difficult to flip them. Just uh, uh, when I say blue, put white and when I say white, put blue. That's it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect them. But before that, I'm going to show you uh, how to attach your clasp. So in order to do this, I want to go out here in this direction. Okay, and I'm exiting through four of those five white beads from outside to the inside. Now I'm going to take three silvers and I go in this top blue bead like this and I'm going to take three more silvers and I go here in the same place here. Here is one white bead uh, from the silver. This is where I'm, where I am. Okay. Now I want to go through all of those beads like this and exit here. Okay, now I want to go through this top blue bead and the next silver. And here I'm going to take three silver beads. Then I'm going to take my clasp. Going through it. And take three more silver beads. And I'm going back like this, through this silver, through the blue, and through the following silver. Okay, I have this. And I'm going to reinforce this joint. Okay, and when I'm done reinforcing here, what I want to do is make a loop, go once, go second time through this loop I've made, pull, and then go through some beads and you could repeat this knot several more times. When you're ready, go through the following seed bead and cut your thread. Okay, and now the clasp and the first element are ready and I'm going to be showing you now how to attach the second element. Okay, so after I finish the second element, uh, I'm exiting through this uh, blue bead here at the top of this one and I want to connect it here. Pay attention where the clasp is here. I'm attaching these three flowers with these three flowers. Okay, so as I'm exiting from the blue, I'm connecting it with the white because I inverse the colors. If you're not inversing the colors, you will be connecting one and the same color. Okay, so now I'm taking one silver bead and as I'm exiting here through this blue, I'm going here in this white that is sticking out the most and I'm pulling okay then I take one more silver and I go through the blue in this direction okay then I reinforce
and then what I want to do is connect my next two flowers the white and the blue this one and this one here and how I do this I want to exit out of the blue that is sticking out the most Now take one silver bead as you exit out of the blue here go through the white that is sticking out the most take one silver and go like this now reinforce and in the same way guys like I showed you up until now after reinforcing here go here and connect this white to this blue okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and now off camera i connected this flower with this one the same way i was showing you here just repositioning my thread adding silver going around like this and now what i'm going to do is make a knot and cut my thread the way i showed you here and then I will make another element without cutting my thread and I will connect it to this one then another one and another one and I will stop when I have six elements connected together you could do more or less it's up to you okay guys and when I continued adding more and more elements you see what I have I have six elements here and where I am Here I am where I added my last uh, element from this row and what I'm going to do next is go through all of those beads here around and I will make here the same finish that I showed you in the beginning this one but instead of adding a clasp I will add a jump ring here okay so do this if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind to the part where I'm showing this one with the three here three here and six here and repeat it and I'll be back hey guys and now my snow queen frosty flowers bracelet is ready you see how I finished this part here with the jump ring and it's really beautiful it's a great present and uh, if you're new here consider subscribing for new inspiration and new videos maybe i will make a matching earrings so uh, stay with me down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and don't forget that now you could become a member and get some nice perks here thank you so much for watching bye bye from me